Dwayne, welcome back to Huddersfield Town. Football's a, a funny game in the way things work out, and I'm sure when you when you left Huddersfield four years ago, you probably weren't expecting to come back ever. But give us your feelings now that you've you've got the town shirt back on and you sat here a Huddersfield Town player. Yeah, obviously, obviously buzzing. Um, this club means so much to me. I've, I grew up here, um, and I still feel like I've got so much to give to this football club, and um, I'm happy that I've got the chance to do it. When the opportunity to, to leave Derby was was there for you. I'm sure you had lots of options. A, a player of, of your calibre, with the championship experience you have, will have had options on the table. Was it as simple as Huddersfield being your club that made this decision easy for you, or is there more to it than that? No, I, I think it's it's definitely the fact that I came through here. Um, I'm really looking forward to working with the manager. Um, and a couple of months ago, Derby played Huddersfield in a behind closed doors game. And I didn't have to play and I wanted to play because I wanted to, to come here and kind of drop it into Broms that I want to come back. So, so that's, I, I played in that game and I spoke to Lee and, and since then we've been working to try and get it done. You scored from halfway in that game as well, just to point out, so not a bad way to... Yeah, uh, that always helps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you talked about speaking to Lee Bromby there, Towns Head of Football Operations, um, and Carlos Corberan. As much as... Huddersfield Town being your club is important. I'm sure you wouldn't be sat here now if you weren't bought into what we're doing on the pitch. And you've seen it firsthand. You've played against it firsthand. How do you think that will suit your game and, and what you bring to the table? It's very high energy, and um, that's something that that I know I can bring. And I've spoke to players here, Hoggy, uh, obviously, and um, they couldn't speak highly enough for the manager. And that's something that I really want to want to get behind. So hopefully, it can bring the best out of me. You mentioned Hoggy is a great example. I'm sure you've missed getting shouted at on the pitch over the last four years, but um, if you speak to Jonathan about Carlos and what he's done for him, he will tell you that he thinks he's improved his game in the six months he's been here. That must really appeal as a, a footballer. I mean, you're 26 now, you've still got a lot to give, and, and the idea that you could improve from where you are, I imagine, is a big attraction. Yeah, and that's, that's the same with every footballer. Everyone wants to get better, and obviously to hear that from, from Hoggy who's been a great leader here and, and took the club to the Premier League. Obviously, if he's improving him, then I'm sure he can improve me. We always ask new signings about their style of play, about what they bring for any town fans that were seen and play. It's kind of a moot question for you because town fans watch you grow up and watch you break into the team in the Championship. But what do you think you've added to your game or how do you think your game has changed in that four-year period away from the club? I think I've matured a lot, as both as a footballer and, and as a person. And... Um, Hopefully, I've not I've not changed too much. I still want to be an exciting player to watch and, and stuff like that. But I want to I want to bring goals to the team. I want to help the team out in any way I can. And I know I'll, I'll give everything for the shirt. I've known you for a long time now, Dwayne. I know that you're a confident guy in terms of your own ability and things like that. But when you look back on your departure from town four years ago, you'd, you'd broken into the team. You, you were playing not probably as much as you would have wanted at that point, but. Do you actually think the move away in some ways will have helped you develop your game? I think of your time at Scunthorpe where you had those two playoff campaigns in League One, then on to Derby. You've experienced a lot that, who knows, you might not have experienced at Huddersfield Town. Do you, do you think that's added to your game and, and that's helped mould the player that you are now? Yeah, I think definitely the time, the time in the lower league at Scunthorpe was, was massive for me because it, it taught me what it really meant to be a player, playing 40, 50 games a season. It's, it's very demanding and I had to live, breathe, eat, sleep football um, and I did that and obviously the two playoff campaigns were brilliant, didn't end how we wanted them to, went to Derby, had another one and then a bit of a strange season last season but yeah I think I've matured a lot and, and um, I'm just buzzing to be back. And you've signed a, a long deal here at Huddersfield Town as well, I think it's 2024 with, a, with an option year too. I suppose that shows the commitment not only the club, the faith the club has in you but also the faith you have in what we're doing here too. Yeah, and I think I think that's that that, that was a big point for for me um, because at first the contract that we were speaking about weren't that long, but I I wanted to be here for the long run and really get behind the club and what what the what we're trying to build. So yeah, like you say, we've both committed long term, and I can't wait to get going. I can imagine that was important. You've obviously had two year spells at your previous two clubs since leaving town. Is it important now at 26 where you're going to be hitting your peak years in this contract in theory to? have somewhere where you can settle down and, and really bed yourself back in somewhere. Yeah, definitely. And obviously it helps knowing the place, knowing the people, growing up in and around Huddersfield. Um, it's familiar, it's something that I'm comfortable with and I love the place. So, yeah, I'm, I can't wait to give my best years, my best years to town. And I think 
the fans are going to be happy with the play that they see now. Because um, I, I, I don't think I'd fulfil my potential when I first came through. Um, I was disappointed to leave. But like I say, I'm just buzzing to be back. When you see what Leon Carlos has said about you as a player and what attracted the club to you and bringing you back, the uh, kind of way that you know Huddersfield Town and you've lived that journey through the academy into the first team is really important because we're making no secret of this club of our desire to bring the next Wayne Holmes through, bring the, bring the young players through from the academy. It, I feel strange asking you this, uh, but almost, you're almost a senior player in this squad now. How much do you think you can help those players to replicate the journey that you made here? I think I can help massively because obviously I came through with a lot of good players, mm -hmm. Crooksy, Sin, Phil Billing. Um, so I know what it takes to, to get into this team and, and to stay in this team, but I didn't necessarily do that enough. So I'm, I'm hoping I can pass that on to the young lads because there's, there's a great bunch of young lads there and um, a lot of talent and hopefully I can point them in the right direction. How good is it to get this move done in January? It's typically a window where you see more short-term deals done than perhaps long-term ones, but uh, not that anyone's discounting this season. I suppose it, it, we've got a lot of football to play, but it does give you the opportunity to almost get a head start than perhaps a summer move would have done where you can really get to grips with what Carlos demands of the players, which is quite demanding, and then really kind of hit your stride uh, going into the rest of the season and next season. That's what, that's what the conversations were like with Lee. Um, we could have obviously waited to the summer, but I wanted to be in the building and, and work with the manager for as long as I can. And obviously this season, like you say, there's a lot of football to play, but next season, I think if we don't make the playoffs this year, we can have a really, really good go next year and, and I want to be a part of it. If I told the Dwayne Holmes four years ago that he'd be returning to Huddersfield Town and wearing the number nine shirt when he came back, do you think you'd have believed me? Uh, I would have said yeah, because I do see myself as a big, strong centre forward. Um, <laughs> now, um, maybe not the number nine shirt, but uh, when I left, I always, I always felt like I'd, I'd be back and I had unfinished business. And um, like I say, this club means everything to me. Um, I, owe it, I owe this club my career, so I just can't wait to get going. That age group that you came through with and the players you just mentioned there, obviously Matt Crooks, I know you're very close with still. We just talked about it off camera about the players that you played with. Have you spoken to any of those guys about this? Because I imagine it, it must be surreal for you being sat here today, but it's probably a little bit odd for them as well, in a sense. Are they proud of you? Yeah, I spoke to Cruxy last night. He was um, asking why it was taking so long, because <laughs> obviously we've known about it for a while. So, um, but yeah, he's buzzing for me. He's um, like, like you say, he's, he's still my best friend. He's, he's um, him and Jord and myself were inseparable. So, yeah, he's he's buzzing. He, he said it's going to be weird coming back and seeing how different it is, but. Um, it, honestly, coming back here, speaking to you, it feels like I've never left, so it's nice. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, you? thanks. Um, Apart from the grey hair. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, well, that's, it'll come to you as well, mate. Um, finally, uh, we talk about your love for the club. It's, it's a massive shame in a way that it's very likely your second town debut will come in an empty stadium. Uh, and without town fans there, whether it, it comes at Bristol or whether it comes at home, uh, we're going to have to wait, we're going to have to be patient until life sorts itself out but how much are you looking forward to going to the, the John Smith Stadium and being in front of that crowd for the first time because that, that must be something special to look forward to. Yeah and I, I just said it to you off camera there like um, a couple, like a week ago or something it was five years since I scored my first goal uh, in front of the South Stand with 40 of my friends from cricket all trying to jump over the barrier and stuff like that so that'll be when the fans are allowed back in and, and I get to play in front of the fans and in front of my, my friends especially, it'll be uh, very special for me, yeah. I think sometimes perhaps uh, fans maybe don't understand how much it means to academy players or players who come through the academy like you to actually play for your hometown club. You're from Wakefield, obviously play for the USA through your heritage, but you know you, you sound like you're from Wakefield as well. Um, it, it is a special thing, isn't it? I suppose a rare opportunity in that sense as well, that you, you get this chance to come and really make that mark. You can tell through this interview how much that actually means to you to, to have this chance. Yeah, especially from playing from being nine years old, played every age group, all the way up to the first team and then was disappointed. It was one of the worst days of my life when um, I spoke to David um, and he told me that I wouldn't be getting a contract. So that was really sad. But obviously coming back gives you the chance to go and, and play for your boyhood club again. It's it's incredible feeling. I'll do. Welcome home. We're glad to have you here and uh, good luck in your second spell at Huddersfield Town.